All right, hello everybody, it's Gavin, I'm back. Welcome to another video, welcome back to my channel. I hope um, everybody um, is having a um, nice relaxing, what is today, Sunday, yeah, tomorrow's, yeah, Sunday, tomorrow is 4th of July. So I hope all you guys have a wonderful 4th of July out, 4th of July. Um, I hope everybody has a good 4th of July weekend too, or not weekend, sorry. Yeah, this thing is, we got a supercell coming in right now and it has some um, constant, you know, good constant lightning with it. So I want to see if I can get out of this storm for you guys this evening. So we'll see, we'll see what happens. Can't tell if that's a shelf cloud right there. I mean, normally I see no shelf cloud when I see one. But I mean, if it isn't, I should be, should, or some lightning, we should be seeing a um, shelf cloud very soon if that's not one. I was surprised that super slow I had a few days ago, I want to say it was. Didn't, um, didn't, um, what was my powers? Didn't, um, have a shelf cloud with it, at least not that I saw anyway. But this is a real super, just another real supercell. So this thing looks more like a more violent supercell than that thing was. Um, if you hear booms in the background, I apologize. It's um, it's like I said, it's Fourth of July, so the sharp was going off around me. I don't know if you guys will be able to see any or not, but yeah. Nah, I've been I've been waiting all day for a. You know, starting to the super starter come in. Is there's been ones all around me, and it's it's um comes the wind too. It's um finally happening. <laughs> eight o'clock at night. <laughs> well, what is it? A little past eight o'clock time. Put my watch on. I don't know what to see what's going on. I'll figure out the time. Right time. It is Sunday, July 3rd, and it is 9 or 3, so it's even past past 9. I apologize if you guys couldn't, um, if you got a lot here for you guys. Um, I apologize if you guys can see me for a minute, I was looking at my phone, but it might have. I'll walk down here for you guys and see where I can get it. By lightning, this thing has lightning strikes with it. So, the supercells are very known to produce lightning strikes too. So, this is a good storm though. Yeah, there's some more lightning. I'm not sure exactly how far the storm is so away. But I mean, I'm so vulnerable to lightning because, light, for you guys who don't know, lightning. One of the reasons they say, you know, to go inside if you see lightning, take shelter. Just lightning and strike 10, um, 10 miles away from an actual thunderstorm. So keep, you know, keep that guy guys in mind because you know, lightning is something that's pretty and it's interesting. But it's something else. You know, it's one of the most dangerous phenomena in weather. So lightning normally has around... Um, one million, I mean, your normal bolt of lightning has one million volts of electricity in it. So, you know, that's why most people get struck by lightning end up dying, or, you know, if they don't end up dying, they end up with, you know, severe brain damage and stuff because lightning is very, very powerful. I don't think the actual storm is really here yet. I mean, that wasn't a show I was saying. I'm going up to um, Pilot Mountain in the morning um, for it's been 4th of July, you know, and up in the mountains for the day, so I don't think I'll be recording anything there for you guys for that because of that, because I want to be with my family and I want to spend time with them. 
walking right down the middle of the street. That's probably not. Oh, I don't want to be in that next to trees either. Well, no, I mean, this is very dangerous for me to. This is very, very dangerous for me to be out in. This is, you know, constant. Not constant, but very frequent lightning. I don't want to get struck by lightning. I mean, you know, I'm at. You know, I'm at um, you know, farm board lightning thing out here. So. Like I said, I don't think the actual storm is taking on here yet. I mean, it's definitely close. So that thunder is very loud. And how's the firework? And, um, and you know, lightnings, you know, more confident stuff. So it is definitely close because I can't check the radar when important it's on my phone. So, um, if I can try, I'll put, if I can, I'll put a, um, I mean, ooh, oh, that was beautiful. I don't know if you got that on camera, I don't know if I got that on camera, but that, that was crazy. I hope I got that on camera. That right there just shows you how, one, one of the things that shows you how deadly supercells are. And why they're so dangerous you know, to be out at these storms. Supercells are also the um, storms that are um, most likely to produce tornadoes and you know, most likely prone you know, to produce any kind of severe weather, but they're the strongest, most severe, and most deadly type of, um, of um, thunderstorm. That's to the northwest, I believe. No, I'm sorry, that's northwest. That's north. Over that direction, down the street, that's north. And this is not, I mean, you know, it's darker, so it's hard to see the storm. This is like one, so it's not, you know, one of the prettiest supercells I've seen, but it's definitely one of the craziest. I mean, I haven't, you know, I haven't seen lightning like this in years. Obviously, you know, I'm a lot more likely, you know, as this lightning being this intense, I'm a lot more likely to um, be, um, to be, um, you know, struck by lightning than I would in a normal thunderstorm or even, you know, just your normal supercell. This is a very intense supercell. And as hard as it's been today, I'm, you know, I'm, you know, surprised. I, I just fuel, you know, for supercells. The hotter the house, you know, heat feels feel supercells so it just makes them even more intense of course there's a lot of other you know comp you know, weather is comp very complex there's a lot of other you know ingredients that have to be right for supercells but, i mean it was it was all here today just man i knew i in the moment you know i um from the moment, um, you know, I slowly looking at the storm addiction center and seeing all the, you know, ingredients put in place, I knew we were going to get something eventually. I knew something was you know, bound to happen. This might be a longer video. Because you know the storm's just coming in, I already started. Recording, I might have to do this video, you know, the storm in a couple different, you know, parts, a couple different videos. That's crazy looking over there. Oh, I don't want to be in this people's yard. That's rude. And that's, you know, that's crazy over there, but over here is actually, you know, the direction the storm's coming. The storm's coming out of the southeast, moving due northwest.
I take that back. I'm sorry, the storm's not moving. I was thinking about a storm earlier that looked like it was supposed to hit us and end up didn't, end up didn't, end up not hitting us. This is super solid moving southwest to northeast. Or might be. I don't remember exactly. I mean, it was either moving, it was either moving southwest, northeast, or south to north. You know, supercells are having you know faster rotation in them. You know, all thunderstorms. Um, all thunderstorms. Um, you know, rotate because their thunderstorms are caused by low pressure zones. Um, so the you know, pressure zones, you know, rotate counterclockwise. So. Um, um, all, um, all, you know, storms rotate to some degree up in the atmosphere, but supercells are more like, you know, tropical storms. They rotate, you know, faster and stuff. So supercells, are some, sometimes supercells are also a lot more like hurricanes too. They're, you know, they're not, hurricanes aren't, or supercells aren't cyclones. They're, um, they're, you know, they're starting to have a circulating wind to them and rotation in them. Um, but um, they're still not cyclones, but they but they rotate and have a circular rotating wind with them. So um, they um, you know they rotate faster and like it's, 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 it works exactly like a hurricane. You know the front part the front part of the supercell wind blowing one direction. And when you're on the back side, it's blowing the opposite direction, so. But I mean, I said, you know, I said they're like hurricanes. They are in hurricanes, some way like hurricanes, but they're, you know, they're a totally different storm than hurricanes are, so. Supercells are also much, much thicker than, um, than hurricanes are. I'm gonna walk a little further down here. It's like most lightning's happening behind these trees. I want to get straight right in here and get, you know, power lines fall down on me. Power lines are over there on the street, so I should be good at that. That's all, you know, I'm still bound, you know, when you strike in a tree or something, or in a tree falling down, or me getting struck, you know, indirectly by lightning, so. There's some more lightning. Some of these might be fireworks too. I mean, you, you can also tell lightning different than fireworks, but there's fire and all those, you know, boobs you're rolling off in the round, you know, going off right now are all fireworks. Some of it's thunder, but you can know, honestly, you know, thunder often sounds different than fireworks do too, so. I don't think you're gonna see a shell cloud or anything. I'm probably gonna get, you know, Good part of the storm because it's dark. Here comes a car. It's dark. So we probably don't miss this one very well. I'm walking southeast right now. I'm not looking at a compass for direction either. I just know what direction, you know, I'm headed, but I study what direction my house is lightning, and what direction my house sits and everything, and the direction from, you know, what direction is which. My house, I know, you know, how to, I know what direction I'm heading by, you know, by what, you know, how my house is. I mean, we had, you know, the Cape, which is one of the Cape measures, measures uh, some part of um, energy, convective energy up in the atmosphere. And basically, the higher the Cape is, the more severe the storms we're going to get. Supercells can develop anywhere from like 1,500 to 6,000 Cape. 6,000 Cape is, um, 
the um, highest you can get in Cape, highest mountain we can get in Cape. And we had to, this all over the whole entire state of North Carolina. I live in North Carolina for you guys who don't know. I live in Tampa, North Carolina. Um, the highest amount in Cape you can, um, you know, or I'm sorry, I always said that. Um, the same. Oh, yeah. We have like, you know, 30,000, 2,000, or like 40, you know, 4,000 Cape. Um, you know, up and down, it has that much cape up in the atmosphere, you know, for like almost all day. So, that's, you know, that's why we get one of the reasons why we're getting such an intense supercell, such an intense storm. I don't even think the actual storm really even here yet. I mean, I saw that lightning, you know, strike, whatever it was. That, um, you know, happened around when I first started the video. Um, but I don't even really know if the Supercell's even actually here yet. I'm already, you know, I'm already, um, I'm gonna start at 20 minutes here. I'm at 16 minutes and almost 50 seconds. 16 minutes and almost 50 seconds. So, you know, I might, you know, do a part two too. I want to, might end, I might end this here. Um, you know, if something else, you know, the actual storm, you know, it's just, if the actual storm is still coming and something happens, you know, I'll either, you know, pick it up and I'll add it in or I'll make a part two. It'll probably be easier for me to make a part two so that way I have less editing things. Just because I'm editing on an app on my phone, I have to save my phone to the, um, to the, um, Save my, sorry, save, you know, the video once I edit it from the app into my phone so I can post it. So it'll probably just be easier for me to um, make a part two. I mean, you know, it's definitely, you know, there's definitely more to come. I think I'm going to end you guys here, and if something you know happens, where I can do a part two. Um, if I get to the chance, could do a part two. Um, I'm leaving early in the morning. Like I said, I'm going up to Pilot Mountain, North Carolina, up to the state park tomorrow for New Year's. Um, not not New Year's, sorry, Fourth of July. Um, so if I get a chance, I'll form a part two. So it does look like you know, there's more, you know, going to be coming. Oh, that firework? Oh no, it's just a street light. There's fireworks over there that I just heard on my own one. Alright, guys. Well, I'm going to end you guys here. And like I said, there's a part two. Um, there's some lightning. I don't know if I got that or not. Um, there's a, if, there's a, if I can form a part two, I will. If not, I'll see you guys in the next storm. If you guys, make sure to leave a like if you enjoyed my video. Leave your comments down below. I'll try to read them if I can. Um, and, um, um, you know, subscribe to my channel. That would help us. I'm kind of unfocused right now. I'm watching the storm, too. Um, if, you know, if you guys could, you know, subscribe to my channel, that would help. I'm trying to reach 100 subscribers. Subscribers. Um, so yeah, so you know, I love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next video if I don't, and if like I said, there's a part two, I'll, you know, try to get that for you guys. But if not, I'll see you guys next video. Bye, I love you guys.